Hello, testing one, two, three. Welcome to Valentine's Day 2024, Wednesday, February 14th. First fragrance on here is called La Tapa Antiquity 1886. This is the one that smells like your Ohm Intense that's on the thumbnail. It's got a three dimensional raised car, it looks pretty cool. And I just tested it today, and I can testify that it does last long like beast mode lasting fragrance right here it is phenomenal like white chocolate vanilla tobacco patchouli that's the notes that are listed for this fragrance but it smells identical to dior ohm intense and it's it lasted through high heat cold weather whatever you want it's just insanely strong so i have another fragrance here i can't spray it but this is how it sprays out iris is delicious this is a straight up 98 90 98.9 percent dupe of dior Homme intense and i love it you should find this maybe there's links down below the next fragrance is on my hand it's called rutaba royal rutaba is a fragrance i found from adion adion makes these fragrances like this louis vuitton stuff and they're also a fragrance company called Anfar, which also has to do with Afnon, I believe. Don't mark my word. But this fragrance, so far, it's lasted on my skin a long time. The initial blast is intense cognac, whiskey, vanilla, just like an Angel Share clone. But I'm going to see if it can withstand this other one because it's like 60 50 bucks average price. Oh, by the way, there is a... Oh, let me change this. There's a discount code, and it's called a Whiskey Reaper. What's up, man? How you doing? I saw you there. Okay. I just want to change this Whiskey Reaper real quick. The code, please, is going to be 50% off. I mean, or I'll just take this off. There's a 50% off code, just so you know. Cheers, my friend at Best Brands Preview. Whiskey Reaper, my new buddy. We got to talk one day. You're in Miami, right? That's cool. Shout out to South Florida Painters Hockey. So those are people that are on the stream. This is recorded live. In case you think this is a pre-recorded video, it is not. This is my office. Or is it a green screen? You already know the answer. Bianca Sprays. I removed a lot of spam from your group page on Facebook. Frank Tori. Good evening. I was able to finally place an order. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you, everyone. Ruta Ba smells like angel share. Then we have this one is 28 bucks montage intense. I just want to compare it right out the get. I've already tested this one and it does last long. But Ruta Ba smells better, but this one might last longer and project harder. There's another angel share clone though that is a hidden gem and I've got it right here just got to show you this it's called i call it the whiskey ghost so whiskey reaper i named this after you it's actually called jasal okay there's no other words on it no no markings it's 30 dollars, and i can tell you that it is powerful baby it it blows away those two for sure I love these unknown brands that are powerful. Man, do I love it. I like it. It's called Whiskey Ghost. Smells like a DNA of Harama. Next fragrance up. Check this out. This must need to macerate. I don't like the way it's clear because I took two sprays and it looks like it's, you know, like it uh, looks like it's a huge dent. You upside down it, it looks still full. It's kind of a weird, reminds me of some sort of star wars movie or something the bottle the box is huge this is the box for the antiquity it's pretty cool there's a metal box in there and this is the box for this one it opens up it's called la tapa guinoa and it's going to be 50 percent off if you can figure out the code it's listed in the chat section at top it's called 50 off now there'll be an email sent out later tonight or tomorrow morning with all the selections that are 50 off, which many of them are discussing here, and many of them are not 50% off, but what's the difference? So this one smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540, heavy copper cap, 
but Baccarat Rouge 540 is better than this. This is overpriced. It's good sprayer. Initially, I mean, maybe it needs to macerate, but initially it smells like every other cheap Baccarat Rouge except for, except for Untold blows this away. In my opinion, Untold's the best Baccarat Rouge 540. But if you can get this half price, I would nab it. It's good, it lasts long, projects well, it's a nice gift, it's a nice DNA. Maybe it needs maceration. Next up on the block, we have Ginwa, that's what that was. We had La Collection 1886, which was my favorite. That one with the car on it, I already lost it. Then we have Luke's Vision Fascination, but I wanna see who's talking here tonight. Ken Riverdale, God bless you, Uncle Chris. Jamie LaRubia, good evening to all. Jamie, and then you have Coach Vaughn, helps keep it coming, brother. And then you have Israel Naivis Jr., scent of the day, Ashton and Moore's Whiskey and Cedarwood, fresh out the shower. By the way, if anybody wants this shower gel and you have the guts to enter your address in this chat comment, I will mail this to you free of charge. That's the only way. If you want to put your address and your name, I will mail this to you free. Man-made wash. It's a sweet tobacco vanilla honey. It's like a $50 shower gel on, on Amazon. You know the company 1821? Well, this is just a shower gel. 532 milliliters of pure whiskey honey shower gel. Yeah. So free of charge. Happy Valentine's Day gift. You got to put your name in there or somehow if you're on a mailing list get, make me know how to get to your address from the chat window right now before i close out this live stream so we got next alex camas salve para our agave portugal ken riverdale jamie la rubia hello chris and then we got james roseboro hello from virginia the next fragrance is Luke's Vision Fascination. It is also half price, which brings it to $30. Very nice Citron, Calibrian, Bergamot, Sicilian, Orange, Nigerian, Ginger, Tunisian, Neroli, Cinnamon, Chinese, Black Tea, stuff like that. It's the same thing as the Louis Vuitton. It acts the same way as our Louis Vuitton. It's not as soft and elegant, but it's not synthetic. Beautiful sprayer. Same longevity as Louis Vuitton Imagination. It's called Fascination. I mean, I have the Louis here, but I'm not going to do that comparison. I'll do it in a real video soon. So we'll keep it moving. By the Seashores next. Exactly this one is the same thing as the Louis Vuitton on the beach. This is called By the Seashore. And it has a favorite note of... Mr. Miami, five sprays of Binaka. It's got a beautiful Yutsu opening. I find the opening to be natural. Neroli mixed with Yutsu. Oh, yeah. That is like fire. I swear you will love it. Because after the Neroli, you know, most of those fragrances have Neroli and orange and bitter citruses and Yutsu. And this one has a touch of sweet coming from a light floral. So it reminds you for an ideal day driving down A1A Beechtree Avenue, listening to whatever you listen to with your convertible Corvette 2023 or whatever kind of car you have, thyme, rosemary, and pink pepper is in here. Pink pepper brings that nice fresh peppery note to it. Has some cypress to give it some greenness. Longevity is the same and it is very good and I have tested this. And by good, I mean it's still on my hand. It's not like projecting like crazy. It's on your skin. So if you're in closed quarters, offices, whatever, dates, you will be smelled by this. Not a projection beast, but a long-lasting scent. And not a skin scent. It's just on there like, boom. It's still, yes, it's still on there. Yes, 27 uh, hours later. Oh, yeah, it's still on there. Like that kind of scent. Next are some fragrances by Nashwad. One of them is called Noir, and that one's Bulgari Falkar. Another one is called Nashwa Oud, which at the top, it gives you this geranium note. So this fragrance makes you think of nasty, dark Oud, the way the bottle looks. But it's really green, spicy, rose, fresh, 
opening, charming. It's like it's trying to get you in. It's very high quality and complex. It makes you think, oh, this is a great fragrance. I love it. And then later down the road, I'm talking about five hours later, bam, it hits you. All oud, nothing but oud. And they call it Nashua oud. It lasts long, rich, deep, expensive smelling fragrance like Bulgari Cobra. That's what I would say to that. They also make one called Nashua, which is Bulgari Tigger. This is the very most easiest one to wear. You know that authentic grapefruit note. This has it. You know that you want that long lasting with projection and mass appealing and easy to wear. This one has it. This one's a little bit more polo greenish that turns into an expensive unique gourmet dinner this nashua oud is darker than greener and geranium and this one is straight up like blue de chanel but more deep rich grapefruit and that's about it some few other notes and that's it then they make one called nashua smoke and they make some other fragrances and now there's another one i had one i guess i oh here it is Alazal. Have no idea what this is, but I'm going to open it right in front of you. La Tafas Al Azal. Fellas, let's see. Here's the bottle. Not bad. La Tafa Al Azal. Anybody familiar with that? Not a bad picture, huh? Okay. Then we take this off. Yes. And we spray it, and we have. Mmm. Ginger, rosemary, lemon. Hmm, little touch of incense. Smells like a Middle Eastern version of La Coast White or La Coast White Intense, possibly. Okay, we got um, Johnny Clem. How many sprays do you recommend for La Tapa Infection? 14, I would recommend, but really, personally, I would probably spray eight. I would spray eight, six, and then seven, eight around your front area. If you want to go ten, hit the backs of your knee, okay? Doesn't matter. I mean, go 14 sprays if you want. You'll get noticed that way. Valentine's Day, I wear Valentino. That's what I wear on Valentine's Day. This is called Born in Roma Valentino. It's a nice fragrance. Has some raspberry, some powdery dry down. It's not bad. It's a mass appealing, overpriced fragrance, but it smells good. What can you want? Next up, if you like Code Absolute, a lot of people have been mentioning that they love this $25 fragrance called Addiction Gold. They said this is amazing. Somebody, his name was Aaron. Mr. Aaron S. said that. He even sent me pictures of his Code Absolute next to this, telling me it's identical and he loves it because it's cheaper. And Absolute Gold, he said, actually. Absolute Giorgio Armani, Absolute Gold. Yeah, this is another mass appealing, sweet Tonka fragrance, just like that, just like Giorgio Armani. It's called Addiction Gold. I believe it's by a company called Alawatania, but don't mark my word on that either. The names are getting to be kind of... Okay, here is the hidden gem of the day. This thing is a straight up banger. Okay, I just... Actually, Neeb from Aromatics turned me on to this, okay? So even if you want to help him out, please do use his code. This is not on sale. I dropped the price so everyone can buy it. They want me to sell it for 60 and I said, no. And you can use the code Aromatics10 to give him love because he found it. And I like, I'd rather him get the money in his whatever he does with that code. Plus, it gives you 10% off. This is called Mountain Nui. It lasts 12 hours before I went to bed. So it was on there. It was like, what is this? Tom Ford, Oodwood, what is this? Finally, I found out it is Montal's Arabian Tonka. Beast mode, almost exactly the same opening, but the Montal is, of course, more luxurious. Not much more. If this is on a scale of 1 to 10, and 10 is Montal Arabian Tonka, 
this is at 7.58 as far as the ingredients it's fantastic it's like long lasting it's sub $40 fragrance and you can't beat it mass appealing you could wear it tonight it's delicious what does it have in it this thing has notes let's see if I have any notes in this don't have any notes on this has notes of Tonka and <laughs> Montal's Arabian Tonka is like spices from the Middle East and Tonka so it's sweet spicy dark at the same time but very 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 mass appealing compliment getting projecting and long-lasting it's called Mountain Nui I will 100% you get this fragrance if you like Montal fragrances it lasts long it's very much worth every penny what do you think about it hey who we got today so we have whiskey reaper says yes let's see oh yeah I can put you I got a new little backdrop here Valentino that's right wood mineral clone have no clue my friend I do several sprays for the top of do you know a clone for Craves by CK remember Ruben when Crave was like 20 bucks anywhere you could get it 20 35 dollars even cheaper to testers which wasn't even a tester because it comes in the plastic thing i love that fragrance too no i don't know a clone of it montal fragrances are eternal jamie la rubia richard spurgeon scent of the day is kawa by la tafa here's another one that's um mind-boggling to me it's called Fragrance World's Golden Nights. To me, it kind of smells like that fragrance called the Blue Beast. What's it called? Interlude Man. But it has some sweetness to it. Someone else said it was Dolce Gabbana, the one royal night. So it's hybrid of the two, I would suppose. Just got it. Haven't tested it. But I've heard only good things of Golden Night by Fragrance World. The next one is called Posh Malt. This is fantastic. It's got whiskey, caramel. It's just like that guy, Terry Mugler's Pure Malt, 90% clone. I don't have Pure Malt. I sold them all because I thought he passed away. God for whatever I want to say to him, sorry. And I just sold all his fragrances. I wasn't spraying them and they were getting a nice dollar bill for them on the eBay thing. But this is good. Anyway, Posh Malt. Malt, malt, whiskey, honey, spices, longevity is decent. Here's one, about seven hours longevity, and it will be on the 50% off list. It's called Dark Door Sport. It's like Christian Dior Ohm Sport. Then there's another one by Fragrance Roll that I really tested. It looks even more like it. I forgot the name. It's called Dior. It's called Parfum de Sport, and that thing really, really lasts a long time. It outlasted the Dior. So this one, I haven't tested it, but I can tell you by spraying it, it smells delicious. Fresh, no chemicals, and that's a good sign. Anyway, Dior Homme Sport, these 2017s were like five, six hours. The 2021s are seven, eight hours. Anybody have any um, anything about Dior Homme scent of the day was Kawa. And Jamie La Rubia, how come you're not out on a dinner right now the secret is next this is aura g's the secret the exact same smell been stronger than versace eros flame this will be on on 25 50 percent off sale the code is 50 off deal it's called yeah by alhambra smells like yves saint laurent why then you have this brand new one will be on probably will be on 50 percent off proud of you are you proud of me? Because I am proud of you. Fragrance World for men. Proud of you. Smells like Stronger With You by Emporio Armani. Identical. Thank you, John. Appreciate your common words. Your kind words. But we also have to show you a couple more. This is going to be on 50% off. This is the called Luke's Vision Chant on You. Louis Vuitton makes one called Spell on You. Now in this situation... 
It's the exact same thing, but the spell on you is a little bit lighter. Louis Vuitton for Valentine's Day. I bought the wife $550. Like, I want to, doesn't matter. It's on a credit card, but it's called Stellar Times. It's a real nice, soft, elegant fragrance. This is has the same DNA to that. It's not like it, but this is called La Tapa Munasam Intense White. I heard they make one without the words intense white that's black. I heard the Munasam was a M7 dupe. If anyone can confirm that, hit it in the comment section, please. And this one is like white florals, sweet, sugary, sexy. Man or woman can wear it, but it's a little bit leaning feminine to me. So if you like Louis Vuitton Stellar Times on steroids, you would get this. Has the same DNA, not same smell. And this one's really good. Then you got Peach Corral versus Peach Honey. Let's see. This one has a little bit more booze notes in it. Peach Corral has booze notes like peach schnapps. Peach Honey by Flavia has the honey note to sweeten it. So it's almost like that, but there's no peach schnappy view in it, right? Then you have Soap Sun. It smells like Louis Vuitton's Afternoon Swim. These are like, to me, this one lasted seven to eight hours. Some other people said they can't smell it, but that could be any number of reasons of insomnia or... What's the Cologne 1962 by Floris? Whiskey Reaper. Whiskey Reaper says, what's a Cologne like? Six? I'm not into Floris, but I got this one. I got this niche. It's called Spirit of Hadar. That's like this really sugary, caramelly, vanilla style fragrance. Anybody can wear it. I like this. Spirit of Kings. It's a tester bottle. It's, I'll throw it on 50% off when the email comes out. If anyone wants it. They're like 200 on the website. It's like 89 on this website. Wherever the thing is. Julius Northcutt, Dallas. You guys lost. Well, you never made it. Brian Ponce. Big greetings, Brian. Hook me up. I'm going to hook you up. There's this new fragrance. I will put this one on 50% off soon, or if it's not already. It's called Alive. If anyone can name the song of Alive and Kicking, you'll get a free bottle of Spirit. Spirit man-made whiskey. Shower gel. Whiskey Reaper. I should just give you that for free. Yep, it goes with you. You like to smell like whiskey? Lubin. Hello, I recently bought Soak Sun. Bad performance, though. Should be a matter of macerations. Greetings. There we go. That's another person because they've been making it so fast. I'm talking about what is bad performance to you, Lubin. And I said, I got seven hours. I tested it in extremely high tropical heat, and it was still on me, and it smells good. Same with all those Louis Vuittons, and it has the same performance as Louis Vuittons anyway. Let's see this. Alive Omen Tense must be what? Chanel Allure Eau Extreme. Ooh, nice sprayer. Oh, yeah, that's like, I mean, that's dead on, but it's got that, you know, cheap vibe to it, but it's a cheap fragrance. I haven't tested it. I think I tested it, actually, and it was lasting the whole ride from Miami to where I am here in South Florida, a two-hour drive. So there's all these warehouse districts, you know, Whiskey Reaper, you win. <laughs> hey, Whiskey... Are there any cool cologne stores I can go check out that have some dust on their fragrances? So maybe I can find like a Crave bottle and some old 212s and they're still $49 because they're a mom and pop shop and they don't know any better. You know any stores like that in Miami? I thought I saw Jeremy at one five years ago somewhere had all kinds of old fragrances and they even gave them a rare YSL and they probably didn't know it was rare but I saw that video. Whiskey Reaper would know that, wouldn't you, Whiskey? Then you got Pacific Woods. If you like the smell of 
Carolina Herrera Cobalt Blue. This is the way to go. This is one of the most easiest mass appealing fragrances you can wear that makes you feel good and smile. And you have Art of Arabia 3. I'll throw that on 50% if it's not already, if you haven't gotten it. What is this fragrance supposed to smell like? Mmm. That smells like that Golden Nights I had. So it must smell like Dolce Gabbana Royal, I would assume. And there's a couple other things I haven't opened yet, like this uh, Mercedes Benz The Move. It's a fresh aquatic. There's a rare Yves Saint Laurent Loam Sport. That's pretty good. Here, these things are like 18 bucks all over the place if you want something cheap to wear. Randall Real Estate says, Happy Valentine's Day. Unk, how come you're not with your girlfriend? I, I personally know this guy. And just giving you the business, buddy. Do you have those new Louis Vuitton clones? Oh, yeah. I just talked about them. This one's called Chant on You by Lux Vision. And then you have the orange one. Which is one of my favorites. It's got this Yutsu note. Yutsu is put in Isimiyaki cologne. And Isimiyaki is like an old school favorite of mine. This one has Yutsu and Neroli. Neroli is a bitter orange. Mixed with some sweet light florals. All together. Very nice opening. So yeah. And then we have Frank Thori about to comment. And he says... Hi, Uncle Chris. Ordered Ventana Marine, Born in Roma, and Yellow Dream earlier today. Can't wait to get them. Wishing you continuous success. Thank you, Frank Tori. I have to look for that and throw some freebies in. So, oh, Mr. Miami knows Mr. Randall Real Estate. That's fantastic. Now, five Bianac, five Benaca sprays. Then we have Ishmael. Yes, Al Harmain is probably your best bet. Are the L LV clones a new company? Actually, here's a good question, Brian. Are the LV clones a new company or a sub branch? So, if you, I did some little bit of digging. I want to dig more. I really want to dig. I want to dig so deep because I feel there's a conspiracy going on with this whole Louis Vuitton. And the guy who makes their fragrances makes like stuff like chrome. And he got hired by them. I don't know if they mix chrome, but he makes like the old school cheap designer fragrances that you find on discount sites. And then if you look on the bottom of these bottles, it has no information. It just says Eau de Parfum. And the other one, the Rudaba, you see this? This says Adeon by Anfar. That's an Anfar is an old Egyptian Middle Eastern company. Ud al Anfar. They make fragrances like tons and tons. They made a few beasts from the Middle East. And this one actually says extract de parfum. So if you ever wanted an extract de parfum, like Angel Share. And also it reminded me I bought this bottle because it reminded me of the old Gucci. The old Gucci bottle. Doesn't it look like that from the 90s? I mean, it looks identical. And they slapped this on it and put Angel Share in it. Or DNA of Angel Share, right? This definitely will get 50% off if you want it. Definitely, Brian. And so, we move forward and we look. We're still looking on, the, on this bottle. And it says Made in UAE. This is another one. The new Louis Vuitton Luke's Vision. But here's the three that they are... You got Imagination on the Beach and Spell on You. This is called Chant on You. This one's called On the Seashore instead of the Beach. And Imagination. This one's called Fascination. I think it's a sub company of Anfar. 100%. That's what I think. The company name is right there. And I'm not too familiar. They had made some fragrance called Fallen Angel last year when the whole Angel Share hype came up. They also make this Alive fragrance. And again, they're one of, here it is, here it is, right here. Here's your answer. It is a sub-company. Under license from Oud Al Anfar. So this is an Anfar fragrance. There you go. You got your answer.
Carla says hi to Unc. Oh, hi, Carla. I'm glad to see you guys are going out on Valentine's Day. Anfar makes great fragrances. That's King Yeti. Five Binaka Sprays. One of my favorite Middle Eastern houses. I've tried a lot of Anfar. What, Neil, what do you think of Oud for Greatness clones? And one of the, do you find feminine? That fascination bottle is beautiful. Thanks, Whiskey Reaper. We got to hook up, man. I know we're, you said you're in 305, right? Paragon fragrance. So many clones to keep track of. Yes, there are. It's, it's crazy. And there's a lot of um, drama on the side. And there's, they, they got big money. I can, I'm not supposed to talk, though. So there, you got that. This is a fantastic fragrance. Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. If you're looking for something that you can wear every day that smells great and you just want something good, it dries down to vanilla. It starts out with beautiful citruses and ocean marine notes. It's superb. It's the Eau de Parfum version of Prada Ocean. It lasts and lasts. I sprayed myself 17 to 27 times with it. Choked out my ride and she was coughing. Here's an easy to wear fragrance. It's now... 3.4 ounce new in box just about 30 to 35 dollars very well worth it Then here's a fragrance that replicates Bentley intense. It's called Bentley for men. It's the first one that came out It's not as deep and rich And then of course you have Prada Ohm. Then I want to show you this if I forgot to tell you this if you like the note of lime some people like notes of lime and seed lime and Cedrat, you should get this. This is all green. It looks like it's clear. It's called Altilier Versace Cedra de Diamante. It's 300 on their site and on this site, wherever this 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 YouTube channel is linked to, it's like 90 bucks, like crushing it, brand new in the box. I don't know the performance. And your favorite, you know, favorite time you would wear this tonight if you wanted to go out on Valentine's. Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Boise. That's what I would have worn, something like that. Or Valentino, born in Roma if it was hot, or regular Valentino. And we've been talking for quite a while. We have Pickpocketer. Hello, I just wanted to know if you ever heard of Ahuja Daring. No, have you? I mean, what is that? So, besides the Louis Vuitton fragrances, these are my favorite fragrances. Art of Arabia 3, the three Louis Vuitton fragrances, the Pacific Woods, this Rudaba Extract de Parfum that looks like a Gucci, Eau de Gucci from the old days, this pink one for the ladies or men, it's, it goes right in the middle. Posh malt to replicate Terry Mugler's pure malt. Proud of you. The best stronger with you clone I found so far. Regular. Number one of the day is Mountain Nui. Hard to find. Super long lasting. <coughs> Montal. Arabian Tonka clone. 99% right here. And I got 8 to 12 hours out of it. And there's one more I want to show you. These two are phenomenal actually for performance and quality. Nashua Oud starts out fresh, tricks you five hours later. It's dark, delicious, authentic Oud. Nashua regular. It smells like Bulgari Tigger, fresh squeezed natural organic grapefruit. And then this one, <coughs> BR540 dupe. I don't like it. <coughs> and there was this antiquity one. I can't find it, but here's the box. This is the strongest, longest lasting Dior Ohm intense clone I've ever found. I love this, and this is what I'm going to make videos about. And this is the one I would spend my money on today. If I had to choose uh, one item, that's what I would pick. 
that one. And if I don't like that kind of fragrance, I'll pick this. If I want level one, easy to wear, strong, strong projection, long lasting, I would pick this. It smells like citruses. Stick with vintage radio, projects and lasts very close. Yes, any good vetiver fragrances? Well, there are a lot. <clears throat> There's a new fragrance by Flavia. It's called Tender Vetiver. But it doesn't even have vetiver in it. <coughs> You're right. Lemon lime is great. There's also royal lime. Has anyone ever tried that fragrance? Or gold in bank fields. There's a green fragrance from them. Prada Loam on your site. Yeah, man. You got Prada Loam on the site for sure. There's like three or four bottles. What's the new, what's with the new water bottle? You got me hooked on Eternal. Oh yeah, well yeah, don't buy this. I just, I got it on sale. Um, I would recommend it, but there are some ingredients in here that I don't agree with. I am like a water, I could make a channel on water. Eternal is far better than this, like 10x better. So don't buy this. It's just what I have today, yep. Eternal is the best. And the, the real best one is just plain old Ebion, in my opinion. Well, that's big, big, big money. Yep, Posh Malt better than Starman. Yep, in my opinion, yes, it is. Starman seems weak. I just like curious why everyone was flossing it. Like, Starman. I just, maybe I got a bad one. I got it right over there. It just like. It, to me, it smelled like water. This one, I mean, I just got it. Let's shake it up. Yeah, they're probably... I mean, I can smell this one. The Starman wasn't bad. It was just light. Or I can smell that malt whiskey in this. I like to smell things, you know. It's hard to smell things. Who got the whiskey shampoo? The whiskey reaper. All he's got to do is connect with somebody who knows his address, and I will send it to him. Bruno Herrera, you know, do you get compliments on red tobacco? No, I've gotten curled up noses on that one. It's like around here, they compliment me on stuff like um, Angel Share and this Hadar and ombre nomad and louis vuitton they compliment me they follow me all around the store and then i got a new this thing here is on fire and we're working i put it in somebody's ear to get this like a real good one not not a junky one so we're gonna try to you know find something that's inspired by this fragrance here it's called apple brandy by killian and this is how I would spray this fragrance. Apple Brandy by Killian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-five, and then another five here. Thirty shots. Maybe fifty. It doesn't matter. It, it's just one day. You're not wearing it every day. Remember that. It's just one day. Don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, it smells great. Apple brandy all over me now. Almighty Roo, I'm going to send out an email either tonight or tomorrow, probably tonight, okay? And the code is, was an email sent yesterday, so you can check it out. Um, let's see if I can read, I can maybe read them to you. Let's see. I'll read them to you maybe, if I can load it up. And I'll tell you what is 50% off using a code. By the way, I gotta I gotta get this code to last till Monday. So here you are, the guys watching this stream and the restreamers, you get first dibs on these clones. Then the email will come off to all the regular people. Usually I do it the other way around, but for now that's how I'm doing it. And it says February 16th. So I'm going to increase that to Monday. 
February 20th. So now it's that. And then you have By the Seashore. You have all the three Louis Vuittons. Uh, Chic Velvet Pink Victoria's Secret. Essence de Noir is a Louis Vuitton Maitre Noir clone. You have this one. This is 50% off and it's worth it for 50% off. This is 50% off Golden Knights. That one that smells like Interlude or Dolce Gabbana, the Royal. Stuff like that. Nashua Capri sold out already. Dark Door Sport, the one that smells like Christian Dior Sport is on it. Elisa Me Per Om, which is a clone of Yves Saint Laurent Wild Parfum. Last, a really good time. That's on there. <coughs> Posh Malt, the Dairy Mugler one's on there. <coughs> I'm a little bit choked out. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I'm going to leave it on because I'm taking a couple day break going on a vacation to Deerfield Beach. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, Reaper? Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Richard, I will. No, I, I've never had that, so if anyone wants to send me that fragrance, I've never tried it. I don't know anything about it. What is the best fougere, in your opinion? Jay Boredom wants to know. Fougere means it's green forest kind of like barber shop somebody can answer them it's on it's on that affection is on um amazon though it's always on there and they got they're selling a thousand bottles a month that's why probably because of them so that's um best fougere and anyone can i would like to say Tom Ford Beau de Jour. I like that one a lot, the newer one. Okay, have a happy Valentine's.